pretty delicious. Ho, 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 and all that stuff. Or if you're offended, happy non-denominational holidays. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I was talking to somebody about my past Myrtle Beach trip. And a little something, a little <laughs> And it occurred to me, I didn't share it with you guys. Shame on, shame on me. Anyways, yeah, it was um, one of the nights I went out for dinner and it was getting late. So me and my buddy were driving along like a strip mall or something. And you know, just at this point, I'll eat anything. And we see a subway and we go into the said subway. Now it's probably 9, maybe 9.15. Maybe 9.30, maybe 9.45, maybe even 10 o'clock. I don't know. It was between 9 and 10. And there's this guy, and he's like, this black dude, and he's just sitting there, and he's like sweeping up, like clo I guess closing shop, whatever. And he's like, he seemed pretty happy enough, though. Mm -mm, maybe dancing to the music, it's not his head. And so, anyways, he's bopping around, sweeping. <laughs> and I do the door open. And, you know, he sees me my buddy and we're sitting there and he kind of looks at us he's like oh man sorry i'll be closed man I'll be closed we're gonna close on up oh uh, and of course you know like you're hungry right so i'm like sort of pissed off but like what can you do so i go to turn around to leave and this is where he gets all ashton kutcher on my ass he's like <laughs> Yo, I got you, man. I got you good, man. Y'all should have seen your face. I got you. You're like this. Oh, this is not happening. This is not happening. This is not close. This is all trivial. <laughs> you should have seen you, man. I got you, man. <laughs> oh, shit. was crazy. I got you, right? I got you good, man. You got me good. Oh, my God. It's Amy Dave. This was your face. Y'all should have seen your face. You like this. Well, this, this isn't happening. What? What? How can the store be closed at 10 o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, had to be there. It's like when uh, Richard Pryor would make fun of white people. Oh, totally do. The store is not closed. <laughs> you know? I'm like, oh my God, what's that? No Excuse me, you table ledges. Oh. I dropped my plug for my cell phone yeah fascinating stuff riveting sounds you know anyways oh my god i'm home from work and i'm like nah. so i need coffee and it's like it smells so good mocha mint courtesy of dunkin donuts thank you dunkin donuts thank you kindly another thing on my mind was uh do you guys have problems with children like kids who will not listen to you or do you know somebody who has too many kids perhaps they don't know what birth control is well I have a three word solution a friendly piece of advice it's better than the F word and it's better than the C word three words if you see someone whose child is unruly or needs a little harness because I was going to patent those child harnesses <laughs> But something about cruelty, it didn't, it didn't fly. Anyways, just say these three words to anyone you see on the street. For example, let's take a couple scenarios. You're at the crying capital of the world, Walmart. Kids hanging on something, kids screaming. You won't buy them that toy or that My Little Pony or the Transformer. And the kid's freaking the freak out. Just call me. Ma'am, ma'am, control your vagina. It's true. What controlling, what controlling your vagina means that the next time you have sex, ladies, just kneel, it, velcro that shit up, and think. The next time someone wants to crawl out of your porthole nine months later, it might mean a lot of noise and headaches. Ooh, soft. Headaches! Ooh, soft. Headaches! Ooh, so Oh my god, the record's stuck. So yeah, control your vagina! A lot of people out there should have learned to control their vagina, and look what happened. It's coming, give me a minute.
Ah, 19 kids and counting. The Duggars should have controlled her vagina. John and Kate plus eight should have controlled her vagina. I kids playing the street. Maybe they're playing street hockey. When puck goes through your car window, ma'am, control your vagina. Maybe, I don't know, but then she'll come by arguing with you. Ah, oh, vagina, 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 vagina. I don't know. So, yes, next time, remember, control your vagina. It just might save someone's life. <laughs> what? What the frick does that mean? Oh, my God. Anyways, thanks for listening to babble about whatever. Um, in the next clip, it's time for a shout out. YouTube Alicious, I'm here to do this little shout out for a very special subscriber who has supported me through the years of my YouTube career. <laughs> um, career? I've been at this like over two years. Anyways, um, check out his channel. His name is Xandru8. And he hails all the way from Spain. That's like far from where I live. So anyways, yeah, he's been watching me for quite some time. He's one of my regulars. So I say, hey, the least I could do is give him a, a shout out. So yeah, check out Zandrew. He does like, oh, how do you pigeonhole this guy into one category? There's a bunch of stuff. Like gaming, cooking, vlogging, it's just all over the map, which is good, because who likes just one thing? You know, it's got to be random. I was just looking at his channel, and I was like, what is he wearing? He had some kind of a... Anyways, yeah. So, yes, if you have any respect for me at all, you'll check out this guy's channel. If not, give me your hand. Shame on you. No, yeah, check him out though, Xandru8. So, uh, I don't know. Just do it! <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stick this on the end of my next video, and it's like 5 something am. So, uh, I went on Skype looking for you, Xandru8, this morning, but, uh, I guess you were not. I seriously gotta figure out this time difference thing. I'm gonna put the link to Xandru8's channel down below. Yeah, no kidding, Albert. That's how it works.